Uh, welcome everybody to this event. Uh, today, Vital Plus is launching a new product on the Australian market. It's something unique uh, that promises to bring a new level of skin health for you, your clients, and of course your business. So I'm thrilled that you're here to participate in this event or watching its recording because we will be recording so you don't need to take notes. Um, well, basically, it shows to me that you are innovators and that you like knowing what the future of beauty therapy holds for us and in which direction it's heading. We will also, so stick with us to the very end, we'll also uh, draw a lucky winner. We've got all the participants, the people who have registered here, and we'll draw someone out who will get uh, this incredible uh, set of new products. Um, uh, I guess I should start by just letting you know how Vital Plus came to discover and partnered with uh, Sequential Skin. Uh, we've always been fascinated with the world of the holistic, uh, the holistic world, uh, health. And I'm sure you've heard of people such as uh, Chisa Westcar, um, uh, Fiona Tuck, uh, Gay Waddle, Pia Nock, uh, Kynock and the like. And what draws us to them is the research into skin health they pursue and the knowledge they share. Um, in 2018, this is before COVID, oh, that's a, uh, that seems a long time ago, uh, we followed a skin microbiome summit. Uh, I think it was in somewhere in, in Europe, uh, but I could be wrong. And that's when we first heard Oliver and uh, Albert present and discuss their ideas and vision about the skin microbiome. They were absolutely we were we were absolutely godsmack uh, by what they were saying they were on the brink of developing a um, new way of testing and measuring the health of your skin uh, they developed a patch that tested your skin's dna which would tell you how your skin is prone to age and measure your skin's microbiome uh, the health of your skin's microbiome. So um, there's little you can do about, you know, your DNA, what you inherit, but uh, there are many things that uh, you can do to nurture and boost the health of your skin microbiome. And that's what we're here to discuss today. We kept in touch with uh, Oliver, who's the, the handsome guy on the left and uh, Albert on the right. And Petronil is in the middle. That's the team. Uh, and... Um, uh, over the years, we, we just stayed in touch with them. Um, with the event of COVID, um, bacteria, viruses and funguses have not been very popular. So it may be difficult to even believe that uh, we need a certain balance of them uh, on their skin uh, for it to radiate health. So uh, maybe I should just start uh, straight away and ask Oliver uh, if you could tell us um, how did you become interested in, in the world of the very small? Thank you. Thanks so much, Frank, for, uh, for introducing. And yeah, it's good that we've kept in touch all of these years. I'm glad that you have shared a similar innovation and passion for uh, a new technology that hopefully will really disrupt the skincare industry. So my background, I did a PhD in uh, molecular biology. I moved from the UK to Singapore uh, which is where I met our amazing team. And I had a chance to meet Albert, um, who will introduce himself shortly. Um, but we had a, a big passion to translate a lot of the science that was staying in the labs. A lot of research groups were continuing doing research, but not bringing that to consumers. And we think now is a really good opportunity for this science to be something that consumers can actually use and benefit from. And something that we can measure and we can see how the effects of these products can shift the skin microbiome. The skin microbiome we know is really important in skin health. And so we're really excited to bring a new product to the team at Vital Plus today. Fantastic, yes. Um, uh, thank you. And, and um, I, I guess that uh, uh, I, I've got a question for you, Albert. Uh, I, I know that there are, there are thousands of various bacteria on our skin, um, but I believe that there are some primary ones. Can you tell us a little about that? Uh, and yep. maybe tell us a little bit about your background thank you. as well. Yeah, thank you, Frank. Uh, it's great to connect with you all. Uh, I'm actually calling here from our lab in Singapore. Uh, just a quick around this is where or oh, magic wow. happen. Amazing. And uh, yeah, so the past years we focused intensively on them, on them skin microbiome. And before we really jump 
into key uh, markers that we identify to be very important uh, for the health of the skin. Uh, it's important we distinguish between two important factors. One is uh, diversity or skin diversity, and the other one is microbiome balance. A lot of people mix these two factors or yeah. they think it's the same thing. When we speak about diversity, you said it correctly, Frank, we're looking at different type of microorganism that lives in our skin. So first we look at the type of the microorganisms. And then ideally, if you have a good collection of microorganisms that uh, kind of links to a, a healthier skin, but it's not always true because when we look at a disease level is a different story. The other part is the microbiome balance. So the microbiome balance is really measuring the amount, the levels of these microorganisms, not the identity, but more the amount of these organisms. Understanding right. where the optimal range is, is key for us to where the balance stand on your skin, similar to how the gut works, but we apply our technologies to really identify those, those um, uh, factors. And maintaining the diversity and maintaining the balance are key as well for this, uh, the health skin, right. because it's really about the environment. And if the skin feels in a good environment, the nutrients that is released by these bacteria are the key for the, the health of the skin. Now, if you look at uh, those key markers, I, I don't want to really go into all the species of bacteria, mm -hmm. but uh, um, uh, we identified really key markers that we know where the optimal range is. So this is done all using our kit and platform that Frank, you mentioned early on, yes. where we uh, tested uh, over 10,000 individuals. We looked at where the optimal range is. We also compared with a bit of how a disease microbiome looks like and then really identifying the spectrum of microbiome balance is where we, we, we put our emphasis. Here we focus a lot on the balance side. I don't want to speak the diversity because we will have to speak about a lot of other species. Mm -hmm. However, here I wanted to emphasize on the balance. You can see the uh, two individuals here, C. acnes and C. epidermidis. A lot of people identify as a, uh, C. acnes as a bad bacteria. However, identifying the good range and optimal range is very important because you don't want to have a full absence of this bacteria. And the other one is really that the, the somehow the housekeeper is the C. epidermidis, which is as well key on uh, preventing uh, inflammation on your skin, really releasing, inf uh, um, uh, so to say, nutrients for the skin, but also helps to counteract the overgrowth of C. acne if it's growing way too fast. Um, on the next slide, I think we are showing another two key markers. Right. And here is um, showing uh, uh, Lactobacillus acidophilus on the top and C. aureus on the bottom. C. aureus is uh, highly associated with, uh, uh, we found it quite high in individuals that have eczema, that have a, a different range of spectrum of atopic dermatitis. And we noticed that in certain individuals that have a spike of Lactobacillus acidophilus was uh, um, helpful to reduce the level of C. aureus. And at the same time, we spoke again, uh, the C. epidermidis also play a role on, so to say, inhibiting the growth of C. aureus. As you can see, very balanced microbiome, each one play a role and to keep this balance at bay. Once this balance is shifted or changes, it can cause certain uh, disbalance on your, on your skin. And as a consequence, that can lead to inflammation, a dry skin, or um, uh, a problem to perform, to have more wrinkling on your skin. So everything really combines in, in, in together to work simultaneously and in a symbiotic system. And this was the base for us to then develop our product. All this data we captured over the years really key for us to develop a uh, right. product that I think Petroni will speak uh, in a bit. Yeah, well, thank you for, for that explanation. Uh, I know you could go on for hours, and we we have listened to you uh, share with you your 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 passion for for this uh, area of the the skin health. Um, uh, perhaps and I could ask Petroni to to dive us uh, uh, into the 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 mask that you've developed and uh, tell us a little bit about them. Uh, over to you, Petroni. Yeah, so just before starting the, the mass presentation, I wanted to, uh, to take one minute to present uh, myself. So I'm Petroni, I'm from France. I'm a pharmacist specialized in dermopharmacy and cosmetology. So cosmetology is all the science behind the cosmetic and how to formulate products. And I've been working for the past 15 years for different uh, skincare brands. I also had my own 
cosmetic brands. So always working on the research and development side um, of the cosmetic and how, how we can improve you know, the, the formula to really uh, make a, a better impact on your skin. So this mask, um, what is interesting with this mask is we use all our data that we collected for the past three years really to understand you know, the, the impact of skincare into, uh, into your skin microbiome. And when we developed this biome mask, uh, we really we were very careful on how, what type of ingredients we selected for, for this. So they are all meant to balance and help you know, your, your skin microbiome to increase also overall health. But as well, we have specific ingredients for each mask to really target certain specific uh, skincare needs. So, so all the biomask approach was, they all have a, a pre and postbiotic blend. Uh, the functional ingredients, so functional ingredients is like pH adjuster, emulsifier, um, preservative system, they were very carefully chosen to be very mild to the skin and that's something very important when we work on biome friendly products. It's not only the active ingredient that needs to, to be carefully chosen, but all the, the entire formula, all the entire uh, architecture needs to be think of, of to be uh, biome friendly. And they all have an optimal um, uh, uh, skin uh, pH level. And they are all um, as well uh, tested uh, in vivo. So it means on real person. And we, to, to understand their impact on, the, on your microbiome. So they don't have irritants. They, ha they don't contain fragrance, no alcohol, no nanoparticles, no ethanolamine, no essential oils and no sulfate. So all the masks contain a prebiotic blend. So prebiotic is, you need to think of uh, like food for, 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 for bacteria, for good bacteria. So there is different type of prebiotic and we have the carbohydrate derivative type. So it means it's coming from, from sugar. So we have trialose, fructo, oligosaccharide, and sorbitol. And in specific formula, uh, we have also allantoin, tocopherol, so it's vitamins derivative and niacinamide. And we also have some postbiotic blends. So postbiotic is, uh, it's either inactive active microorganism or a product of degradation by the uh, probiotic. So we have, for example, lactobacillus ferment, which is an uh, inactivative microorganism. And we also have lactic acid, which is a metabolic byproduct released by, by bacteria. And we also have saccharomyces ferment extract. And here, I just want to, uh, to emphasize on the terminolo terminology pre and postbiotic, uh, because I'm pretty sure you know all of you know um, the probiotic. Uh, so it's really hard to formulate uh, a skincare um, uh, product with probiotic because probiotic is, it means it's a live microorganism. And as you know, for safety reasons, uh, skincare cannot contain, can't contain uh, live microorganism. That's why we are using a preservative system. So actually, uh, soon the the terminology probiotic for skincare will be banned because it's not just it's not possible to have live microorganism into a skincare product. So actually, when when you see probiotic, it's meant it's it's a postbiotic. So usually it's like lactobacillus ferment. So it's a inactivated microorganism. So that's really something important for the for the terminology to understand. And so on top of the pre and postbiotic blend, what, is, what we, we work a lot on is also the material of the mask itself. Um, so it's a semi-gel uh, tensile technology. So it's a, it's a gel touch feeling. So it's very comfortable for, for the skin. It's very pleasant. Uh, it has remarkable moisture retention. It's very um, 
uh, transparent as well. It's an eco-friendly material. It's made of 100% cellulose. And what is really interesting with this technology is the capability of retention of the material for a long lasting benefit. So we did this um, test to compare our semi-gel uh, tensel compared to a regular cellulose. And you can see that after 30 minutes, the retention um, moisture level is 72% compared to a uh, regular cellulose where you don't have any, any product in it. And what is very important is uh, when you apply the mask for 15, 20 minutes, it means after 20 minutes, you still have a lot of product into the semi-gel tensel, delivering all the active ingredients for long lasting benefits. And we also did um, a test uh, with uh, microbiome to understand you know, the impact of our product on the microbiome balance. So we use our skin patch, our skin uh, test technology to extract the microbiome uh, DNA. And then we did um, a target, targeted um, quantification on 20 bacteria. And we look at how these 20 bacteria were, were impacted. So I will present the result later. So here is the, the five different masks. So we have five different masks coming into uh, six different boxes. So uh, we have five boxes with the same type of mask, calming boost, hydro boost, firming energy, antioxidant boost, and radiant boost. So they all have the same pre and postbiotic blends and they have specific ingredients to target uh, specific skincare needs. And then we have the 360 regime box that contain uh, one, one of the, the masks, like five masks, but one, one uh, of each bio mask. So it's really to, to, to test you know, the, the five different, uh, different masks in one box. So here, let me present one by one all the masks and all their, their benefits. So here is a calming uh, boost that uh, really address inflammation and redness. So it's really for, uh, either sensitive skin or post-treatment after laser treatment, for example, when the skin is a bit uh, is a bit red, a bit inflamed, you need to soothe the skin, rehydrate the skin. So we have inside colo colloidide oatmeal, which is which really aids to lock in moisture in, uh, into the skin barrier. We have also allantoin, which is uh, that protect and soothe the skin. Niacinamide and pantenol, which is a fantastic humectants and that really boost the hydration after after a treatment for example and um, in terms of of uh, the microbiome results so what we did for all of them it's uh, a test an extraction uh, at uh, time zero so before mask application and then a second one after 16 hours of the application and we look at the different bacteria so you can see here all the different 20 bacteria that we are looking at. And here in this diagram, you can see the representation before application and after application. And in the calming boost mask, we can see an increase of both richness and evenness of the bacteria community, which is what we want. So it means the, your skin microbiome, it's um, better balance and improve. And we can also see um, an increase of the very beneficial uh, bacteria, and Albert calling the house housekeeper, the S. epidermidis, so represented in yellow here. So here before application, you can see there is a very little amount and that really increase after 16 hours. And we can see also this one, the C, C. acne, that decrease after 16 hours. So it's, it's a very good res result. On the Hydra Boost, so this one is really to address skin dehydration. As you can see, we have hyaluronic acid, we have also squalane, uh, ceramides complete that are really crucial in aiding uh, your skin to retain moisture. And we also have Santella Asiatica that has antioxidant properties, but as well that can help to produce, to reduce, sorry, uh, skin inflammation. So this one is to target skin dehydration help to repair the skin and balance the skin microbiome. 
And on the result for the, for the microbiome part, we can see an increase of both richness and evenness of the bacteria community after 16, 16 hours. Regarding the firming energy, so this one is more to target uh, signs of aging and skin sagging. So we have an, a peptide complex uh, that can uh, help in increasing the skin elasticity. We have the vitamin C that can also help and boost the production of collagen to reduce uh, fine lines and, and you know, signs of aging, niacinamide as well, that help in reducing the visibility of pore that you know, we can start to, to see while, while the skin is aging, and licorice root extract, which is a very interesting uh, ingredient as well to brighten the skin and really to, to help to repair uh, the skin. On the microbiome uh, uh, result, we can see an increase of both richness and evenness of the bacteria community. And we also have an antioxidant booster. So this one, as uh, you can see from his name, we have uh, skin shields uh, inside. So vitamin C, that uh, everyone knows, vitamin E as well. We have the retinyl palmitate, which is um, the milder uh, form of retinol and a tea extract, which is a, a, a powerful antioxidant ingredient. And on the microbiome results, we can see a decrease of C acne represented in uh, orange here, and an overall increase of both richness and evenness of the bacteria community after 16 hours. And the last mask is a radiance booster which is really meant for, for, to treat hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So you, we have like lacquerice extract, Santella asiatica as well, and Arbutin that um, is more like a skin, skin uh, brightener, and it can really help in reduce the, the skin and also the, to fade uh, scar. So this one really targets uneven skin tone and as well as balancing the skin uh, microbiome. And on the microbiome results, we can see you know, this, this yellow, small yellow, yellow line, which is S. epidermidis, really an increase of S. epidermidis in 16 hours and an increase of both richness and evenness of the bacteria community after 16 hours. And so I, I just want to present also this, uh, this box that we call the 360 regime. So we recommend to use uh, one mask per week. And uh, we also recommend, so, you know, the, the, your customer can use it, you know, the, the, at the sequence they want, but we, we do recommend to, we have a preference to recommend for, for, for this sequence. So while uh, week one and week two We'll really focus on skin sensitivity and skin hydration to really help uh, your skin to feel uh, calm and balanced. And then on the on the week three, uh, you can use a firming mask to uh, to bo boost um, your skin um, your skin um, uh, fine to reduce the fine lines and boost elasticity. Sorry, and on week four and five. Uh, you can use the anti antioxidant one and radiant mask to target the skin glow and radius to reduce dullness dual and rejuvenate the appearance of your skin. So to use the mask, it's very simple. Um, you apply the mask on dry skin, you relax and wear it for 15 to 20 minutes. It's very comfortable very nice to on, on the skin. And then you can massage the excess of, um, of the serum and just enjoy. So we recommend usually to use once to twice a week. And uh, of course, you know, all this uh, mask can be used with alongside with your existing product, existing brands to give an, an excellent result. And you know, really to boost to boost your skincare um, regime, so it's more like a like a like a, a to to top up on on your skincare regime. 
It can also be used uh, after any type of treatment, especially I was thinking into uh, what uh, I mentioned, like laser treatment or needle treatment that can be very aggressive to the skin. So you can use, for example, the, the soothing, uh, soothing calming um, mask. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. Uh, Frank, over to you. And if you have any question, I will answer. Uh, I was just saying, uh, I love seeing those graphs and how fascinating that overnight your, your skin microbiome has changed. And as Albert was saying, you know, diversity is important. And, and you know, to see that, that uh, you know, some sort of reduce, some kind of increase, uh, it, it's uh, really what it's uh, all about. And, and we can actually test it and see it, uh, see the results. So that's, uh, you know, that's like uh, you guys have, have proven that it actually works. So, uh, uh, good on you for, for creating such an amazing product. I'm just going to have a look um, if there are any any products. So you mentioned that you can uh, we can use it for after laser. I guess that we can use it uh, after needling or um, uh, you know exfoliation sort of treatments. I imagine is that is that right? Yes, completely. Yeah, because it, the the masks are are really mild, and you know, speci especially you know, certain mask has re a lot of uh, active ingredient to target you know, uh, soothing and uh, rehydration. So, right. you know, especially after laser treatment where the skin is really yes. inflamed, it's yeah. really nice to have something that sits on your skin for like twenty yeah. minutes to really soothe the skin. Yes, and you can also use it, I guess, if you're doing a facial and using a certain uh, a brand of products, uh, you, uh, would you recommend you use it at the end of the treatment or uh, towards the beginning? How would, probably at the end, I imagine. At the end, yes, you're right. Yes, yes. Uh, because we tested the masks here, our, our uh, educators uh, went through them all, and um, Danielle was, for example, ex explained that she, she put it on, and then after 15 minutes, she just sort of... Uh, uh, padded in the the remains and went to bed with it so um, it's that simple um, so if you have any questions now's the time um, don't don't worry no question is uh, uh, ridiculous or um, so all questions are good if you have any now's the time no no one has any questions that's great wonderful uh, what I will say oh hang on um, is it okay uh, is it okay to cleanse and treat the skin with other brands prior to the to the mask application? Is, is there any ingredients we should avoid using in conjunction with the masks? Uh, what would you say to that? No, there is no ingredient to, uh, to avoid, you know, before applying the mask. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have necessarily to clean uh, your, your face before applying the mask. Of course, you know, if, if it's better. after a long day and you have makeup extra, yeah, it's better yeah. to clean. Yeah. I will say, you know, and it's really, it's not really related to the mask itself, but you know, when, when you choose the cleansing product, you need to have a mild cleansing product, you know, to be really um, careful yeah, with alive. what you're applying on, on, on your yeah. skin, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, Anna asked, can 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 it be used after needling? Yes, we we certainly can use the 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 calming one, uh, I guess, uh, or the hydrating. Uh, I, uh, you could use that. So definitely. Um, uh, uh, is there an immediate result, or does it take a few days uh, uh, after the application? Uh, I think we saw that sixteen hours is pretty, or twenty four hours, you'll see some difference. Is that right? Yes, so the thing is uh, on the microbiome part, so that's why we, we, we're showing the, this graph because we can see an impact in mm. within the 16, 16 hours. Yeah. So it's not something that you can, you can see straight from, from your skin because that's all the invisible uh, friends that's, that we have on, on, on the skin. But yeah, yeah just after the, the mask application, um, you can really see that you know, the skin is, is more softer, is mm -hmm. a bit plum, and Daniel can can speak about this because she she had a, a, a lot of very good feedback and just after application. And Yana asks, uh, which mask would you choose to treat acne? So to treat acne, I will use uh, the antioxidant one with yes. retinyl palmitate, uh, which can be a, a very good uh, product to to treat 
not to trick the acne, but you know, to help to help on the on the acne side. Otherwise, right. all the all the rest can also be good because you know, on the especially on the acne, you know, having a, a maybe a, a better balanced microbiome can be a, an interesting um, right. aspect, you know, to uh, to help to improve with your right. acne. Right. Um, uh, um, Anya asks, can you use it with lead light or after lead light? Or yeah, of course. It? With it or after? After. After, yeah, yeah. Um, so yes, absolutely, yeah. And um, uh, Ida is saying, is the best uh, is is it best to remove any massage pr medium prior to application if oil based? Sorry. If you're using something that's oil-based that you massage the skin with, is it best to remove that before the application? Yeah, if the um, yeah, it's maybe it's a better if if the the skin is very very oily, it might be better to remove a bit the, the oil because it's a water-based um, uh, product, so right. the oil can really be a barrier to the barrier, to the yeah. penetration. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Maria says, "Love this new concept. It can take." The place of old school collagen masks. I think it, it certainly uh, can do that. Thank you, Maria, for uh, sharing. And Anya asks, can you not use it with the lead light at the same time? No, we recommend it to use it after lead okay. light. After, as a calming, um, yes. like the calming one, I imagine. Yes? Yes. Yes. Um, Great. Well, look, uh, thank you for your questions, everybody. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you uh, uh, explaining all that to us, uh, Petronil. It's been uh, really uh, fascinating to, to hear about these masks. We're very, very excited here. Um, uh, we're, we're now at the stage where we're going to just uh, uh, pick someone from the, the lucky, uh, the, uh, all the people who registered to our to our um, presentation today, and I'm going to pick someone. Now, if you're not here among us, we'll contact you. If you're here among us, um, uh, uh, let us know in the chat box, but uh, we'll send you an email. We've got your details, so we'll be able to send you an email. By the way, remember that this recording will be um, sent to you. We'll, we'll, we'll send you a, a link where you can watch the recording. It'll be on our, on our YouTube channel, uh, which is just in the chat box now. Um, and uh, I know that the, the beauty therapists among you, uh, you know, you like to know about all the technical aspects and we'll have technical files. We'll also have uh, someone who our, our educators will be able to answer all your questions. And uh, we might even uh, do a video to show you how it can be used in the salon environment. Um, so uh, stay, stay tuned. So here we go. I'm going to uh, change. And I'm going to pick one. Here we go. So the lucky winner, the lucky winner is, oh, Maria from the Beauty Bar. Wow, I'm so thrilled, uh, Maria. I, I know this lady. She's an amazing uh, woman. And so I'm really thrilled that uh, you got this. So you, we'll be sending you a box. It's a, like a box of the five different masks. Uh, so this, this box, Maria, is coming uh, its way to you. It's one of each of the masks and uh, use them in the order that Petronil uh, has um, um, talked about. At Vital Plus, we, we love, uh, you know, we pride ourselves in, in selecting brands that uh, look, look after and empower the skin's uh, natural health. And, um, and so if you're interested to know more about us, uh, you know, or if you want to order the mask yourself, there is, there's no opening order. So don't worry about that. Uh, uh, and we'll give you plenty of training. So all you need to do is, um, yes, the, the mask, just so you know, uh, you can try them out, uh, test them in your salon or test them on yourself. Uh, you, you won't regret it because this is really a new event of uh, where the skin, uh, the treatment of skin is going. So please try them. Uh, all you need to do is contact us. Uh, as I said, there's no opening order. You just uh, uh, tell us uh, uh, what you want and we'll organize it. Um, uh, we'll, we'll give you the support, the training, all that you need uh, to answer all your questions, if you have any, how you can use it in the salon, how you can use it yourself, how you should retail it or present it to your clients. Um, so don't hesitate to call us. The number is here, uh, 1300 437 
638 you probably see it and you can also just email us if you wish um info at vitalplus.com.au and we'll look after you so don't hesitate this is this is really truly amazing you have to try these masks um and it'll i i'm sure it'll sort of really boost your business and uh, go ahead uh if says can you order Oh, my Vital Plus. Yes, you can order. If you're already a client with Vital Plus, they're up, uh, ready to be ordered. So you can uh, go straight online and um, log in. Uh, if you're not yet a client, just call us and we'll create an account for you so you can log in or we can just take your order and, and help you out. Albert, Oliver, Petroni, thank you so much, so much for, for creating amazing products. Oh, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention, the test kits as well to test the skin microbiome and your DNA. Uh, uh, we're waiting on them to arrive. <laughs> uh, there's been a little delay, but they're coming. So if you want to try those as well, we have them and we'll have those available for you to uh, test your, your, ideally test it, do it before you do the masks and then uh, test, uh, do a second test uh, uh, to see how uh, the results are. But they, they, that's the thing, you know, they truly work and you can see for yourself. So uh, definitely uh, order those as well if you can. Um, so more about uh, more about the, all of these. We'll, we'll be in touch again with uh, Oliver and Albert and Petronil. They'll be our guests. They'll talk again. Uh, they'll share with us their their uh, visions and ideas, and uh, and we'll we'll throw at them all the questions that we have. Uh, please take care, everybody, and um, uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you again, and uh, take care. Yeah.